Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Bojo, the puppet tyrant, the clown, has resigned today on July the 7th. That's a uh, 77, another one of those numbers. 77 being a big number in Kabbalah. So bumbling Bojo puppet tyrant says he, well, he says he's going to resign. He says so, but can we trust he's going to keep his word? I mean, not really. No, is the answer. I mean, he hasn't actually gone yet. They are talking about him being a caretaker PM until maybe October or something. But does it really matter? No, no, it doesn't. Does anybody care? Well, they shouldn't care. Unfortunately, people still spellbound by this show, this staged production, and these uncharismatic, media-trained, empty waffle vessels who have been trained to talk forever about the most boring subjects and leave everyone wishing the Armageddon would come early and end their tedious ramblings. But people are still spellbound by this. I don't know why. I mean, you shouldn't care. We shouldn't really be giving them any attention at all. It's all a facade. These are all actors, all dummies. Waxworks dummies at the front of the shop window. And that shop window is number 10. It's a studio. It's a film studio. Number 10 Downing Street. That door. It's got a doorbell and a door knocker, but neither of them work. It's not real. It's just a show. It's showtime. And it's giving the illusion, the illusion, that it's like someone's house in a street. Oh, you know, it's just a normal house in the street. Bit like those studios they have that look like the White House in America, which they use for filming. It's just a stage set up for filming. It's an, it's an illusion, a continuing facade in order to make the public believe they live in a democracy as opposed to a totalitarian society. It's all theater. So the public continue to have faith that they live in a just and fair society where they have a choice in what happens, where their vote counts. And there may have been a time where that was somewhat true, maybe a long time ago, but not anymore. And this illusion is maintained because they know if the public woke up to this, really actually realized this en masse, they would lose their crap. So all of this illusion is maintained to control the public because that is their fear. Their greatest fear is that the majority of the people come out of the spell. And what they are trying to do at the moment, the digital trap, the enslavement of society is so radical and so non-beneficial to the public. That is why we are being so bombarded with psyops, with media antagonism, with conflicting messages to keep your attention so you don't wake up. That is their fear. That is why the media stories are so crazy because they are desperately trying to keep you spellbound. Because there are so many of us compared to the tiny, tiny amount of control freaks who are manipulating everyone through the powerful medium of the fake stream media. And here we see probably the most <laughs> realistic depiction of Boris as a waxwork dummy outside a job center. The job center part is not that realistic. This guy is never going to be hard up, is he? He'll be in some top job for the Peekaboo Club money men in no time. If if he actually goes and whoever they get to replace him will do exactly as they are told by the puppet masters. It's not like, you know, you're going to get a new prime minister who is going to say, you know what, let's, let's pull out of the United Nations. Let's leave NATO. Let's drop all of these sustainability goals. It's not going to happen, is it? And I believe they are getting tired now these people of pretending and maintaining this illusion of democracy these days. They want to get on with their totalitarian new world order system. What was it a week ago Boris Johnson said he wanted to form a new Roman Empire? As you can see here, Johnson wants to recreate Roman Empire ideas about European cooperation. This is your one world government and whoever replaces will just follow suit. Also, don't be surprised if you see the so-called pretend government collapse some more and a snap election is called and you get a hung parliament with maybe two or three parties sharing the running of the country and Boris still hanging around and is still there. He could end up like a, like a Leo Veruca, the ex-Taoiseach or ex-Irish Prime Minister who ended up losing power but has been sharing it with that other guy ever since. He's still there. 
These people can hang around like a bad smell. So I can see them doing that. So um, even these are all, act even if they're all actors on a stage, all puppet tyrants, all media trained and reading their lines, they are still all jockeying for position to be the top puppet tyrant. You know, they've got no problem stabbing each other in the back. And so far, there have been, what, 50 or 60 resignations in the UK government cabinet. Again, these, these resignations are hogwash, you know, complete nonsense. You had, what's his name, Wishy Washy Sunak, then Savage Jabid resigning, but now they are coming back to contest for the leadership. They've hardly gone away, have they? It's all theatre, it's all pantomime. And I hope the day is coming when people realise this en masse and start looking behind the scenes, behind the manufactured drama to look at who are the puppet masters, the bankers, the money lenders, the establishments, the royal establishments and whoever might be behind them. But yeah, I mean, they are really going overboard on the ridiculous storylines. I mean, we had the wishy-washy Sunak resign a couple of days ago as Chancellor of the Exchequer, along with Sahid Javid. Then Sunak was replaced by that guy, Nadhim Sahawi, who then went, I mean, it's just, it's just a joke, isn't it? I'm just saying this, it's, it's absolute nonsense. Anyway, who then went and did a load of interviews where he said how much he respected Bojo, the clown, and his integrity, and then 24 hours later does a complete U-turn and says this morning how Boris must resign. This is the same guy who said there was definitely no way they were going to introduce jib-jab passports last year, and only to then announce that they were in Parliament, you know, that they were going to bring them in. These people are hired hands. They are actors. There is no conviction behind what they say because they don't mean what they say. They just do and say what they are told. In this environment, the scum rises to the top of the pond. And it seems the scripts they have been given are being rushed through because, like in the case of Nadim Sahawi, he is literally contradicting himself within 24 hours. It looks ridiculous. How can, how can people justify having these deplorable people serving us? Because that's what they're supposed to be doing. They're supposed to be serving us. People need to stop consenting to them. Stop treating them seriously. Stop engaging with them. Stop listening to them. Switch them off. And the fake stream media switch them off who fuel this garbage and the alternative media who also fuel this garbage but in a different way they complain about these people and pretend to be on your side yet lead you to continue to engage with the system with their surveys and whatever it's them that are creating chaos okay all of these people and the chaos happens when we give these media outlets and these politicians our attention and believe what they are saying stop giving them your energy live your life go about your business ignore these clowns you take away your attention and you take away their power you can't get rules and regulations to stick or to work if no one is listening or knows what the rules are take away your attention and take away their power and then they will fight amongst themselves and the system might, it might, you never know, it might start to change for the better. Maybe. Okay? Well, that's my take anyway. Okay? I've gone on a bit here. My apologies. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to HugoTalks.com. And I'll see you later.